Hello, Oak Class. I've decided to set you a challenge from outside today, and Tom, no. And my dog has decided he'd like to come and join. This is Tom. Say hello, Tom. We're doing an activity with water today, and Tom just tried to drink it. Okay, so your activity today is to um, see how many things in, well, we're gonna see what you can find in the garden that floats and what you can find in the garden that sinks. So let me show you what I've got. So in my garden, I found 10 things. I found this piece of wood. I don't know what it was from, but it was in the garden. And I found a piece of bark and I've got a daisy and a stick and a feather and so a big leaf and a different type of leaf of a fir tree and a little stone and a piece of slate which is hard like a stone and then I've got a different type of stone. This stone's got lots of little tiny holes in it. So I thought I would see if that makes a difference. And then what I'm going to do is put them into piles. One pile of things I think will float and one pile of things I think will sink. So I think my leaf, I'm going to put that in one pile. I'm going to start my floating pile. So I'm going to put my leaf in my floating pile be my floating pile and now bark this is like really light wood I think I'm going to put that in my floating pile and then uh, a stick I'm going to put that in my floating pile and then a piece of wood hmm I'm not sure what do you think is this piece of wood going to float or sink I think I'll put it in the floating pile and then my daisy I think that will float too because it's very light and then my slate hmm my stone it's quite heavy i think this might sink so i'm going to start a new pile for my stone my slate and then my little stone i'm going to put in my sink pile and my stone with holes in hmm i still think it will sink and then my feather it's got grass on it ah uh, float it's very light. Oh, it's blowing away. Ah. And then my leaf from a fir tree. Hmm. Now that's heavier than the other leaf, but I think it will still float. Okay. So here is my bottle. Um, here is my bowl of water. And I'm going to start with my piece of slate. So here we go. Is it going to float or sink? Oh, straight to the bottom. That one sank, so I was right. Now I'll try my little stone. Yep, straight to the bottom. That one sinks as well. And then my stone with holes in. I wasn't sure what's it gonna do. Oh, straight to the bottom. That one sunk as well. So, so far I've been right with all of them. So let's see um, about my floating pile. Okay, my stick, here we go. Uh, oh, it's too big for the bowl. I need to break it in half. Okay. Two hands. Okay. Uh, here we go. My stick floats. Oh, we've got a piece of grass in there as well. So we know grass floats. Okay, now I'm going to test my big leaf. Here we go. Yep. What about if I cover it with water, do you think? Can I push it down? No, it still floats. Uh, my piece of wood, my bark. So this is really a light wood. Here we go. Yep, floats. I can't even push it down to sink it. Uh, my daisy. Here we go. Yes, that floats. That's very pretty. Um, my leaf from a fir tree. Yep. Can't push it down to sink it. Now I'll do my feather. Okay. Yep, that floats. Let's see if I can push it down. 
keeps coming back up. Okay. Well, that's good because ducks have lots of feathers. And then my wood, I wasn't sure, I think it's gonna float, let's see. Yay, that floats too. There we go. So, I would like you then to find 10 things in the garden and then put them into piles of floating and sinking and see if you were right. And then as an extra challenge, you could um, you could write your experiment up. So you could write down what you guessed would float and what you guessed would sink. Or can you remember that special word in science when we make a really good guess? It's called a p -p 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 prediction. So you can make your prediction and then you can write your results. So you can write down the ones that floated and the ones that sank. Or you could even draw a little picture if you wanted to. Have lots and lots of fun. Shall we say goodbye to my dog as well? Tommy, come here. Come on, Tom. Here he is, having a sniff of all those things. Say hi, Tom. Say hello to Oak Class. Hmm? He's very cute. He's very cute. Okay, so goodbye from Tom and goodbye from me.